This is a Love Life Horoscope Tarot reading for Gemini. From November 28th to December 12th, 2021. Let's get to it. What do we got going on for you in the next two weeks? Whoa, the magician popped out. The devil. And the seven of wands. There's some sort of alchemy taking place. It's like a purification. Like you're, it, it's like you're, you're dissociating yourself or there's some sort of disillusionment with something that's been working against you. I feel whatever it was, it was a strong energy. And It's, it's like you're, you're pushing it away. Things are turning around here. You're, you're coming into, into some sort of, I, f I feel you're making a choice. Like you're, there was something stopping you in the past, blocking you. Perhaps you were blocking yourself in the past, but this is a time for you to be going after what you truly desire. Let's clarify. Let's clarify this magician. For them, diligence. Oh, for you, conversation. That just popped right out. I see you trying to make a choice here. It's like you... You haven't come forth to someone to express your true feelings for them. But now is the time. There's something here available and, and waiting for you, but you have to put this effort in. It's, it's, like, it's like you're manifesting someone. Someone that... <laughs> it's... I'm getting a lot here. Let's get to the random love generated questions and see what they say, because it's like you're manifesting someone who, who you, it's, it's kind of like this object of your attention and this obsessive compulsive energy. <laughs> Let's get to the random love generated questions. What steps will your love interest be taking towards you, towards this connection at this time? Oh, two of swords. Nine of cups. And the two of pentacles. This all hinders on this choice that you need to make. Yeah, I'm getting this feeling that that it's it's kind of like you have all this love to give and it's almost like you're you're making the, the choice here whether to give it to this person without wanting anything in return. It's kind of like this this free love that you you want to give, but it's this choice that needs to be made here. And this person they they won't know what to do until this this choice is made because it. it it's not on their minds until you bring it forth to them, until the choice, until you give them a choice. Let's clarify this two of pentacles. For them, completion. For you, exchange. Yeah. This is exactly what you need to, to do to complete this mission. This selfless act of showing this person that you're you're interested in them, giving them love it's something that you i feel that this is something that you've been trying to work towards but at the same time i'm getting that sense where 
it's like you weren't in a good energy. You are now. You are in this winning energy here. You, you have love. You have this surplus of love that you can give freely without it really hurting you. But it's, it's come time to make this choice to manifest what's, what's right for you here. Like, it's making me think of that saying, like, what is it now? It's, it's like winners find ways, losers find excuses. And you're in a winning energy here at this time in these next two weeks. What's the most likely outcome for this connection at this time? Good question. Queen of Wands. The lovers. And the moon. This, this person here, you... You haven't let them know how you truly feel about them. It's almost like with the moon, you, you kept this secret. But when it's exposed, it's, it's something that excites them. It's this mutually attractive energy. Like you both find each other equally attractive here. There's clearly something that was working against you in the past, and it could have been something karmic. Like you couldn't be with this person at that time. And you're coming out of that energy here. Like the sun is shining here. But there's that lingering feeling that you still might be in that energy. But I think it's just your own perspective. Because you are in... You are in this energy where you are winning. You are manifesting what you want. And you have a surplus of love to give. They will be very excited about this. It's like this person with the cat. It's like that intuitive feeling. Like they knew they were expecting this to come from you. Let's clarify this moon energy. For them. Friendship. For you, wasted time, yeah. Like the hourglass here, waste. It's, you don't need to be wasting any more time. This person is open to the love that you have to give to them. There is something definitely, and it could have been like a karmic thing where, you know, it's, it's like this strong energy. Something was bringing chaos into your life. But it's, it's being turned around. Like you are not in that energy anymore. Whatever was working against you, it's, it's like it's, it's being pushed away now. You're, you're pushing it back. It's being turned around for your benefit. How can you prepare for the arrival of the love interest? Ooh, strength. The Hierophant. Three major arcana cards. This is going to be a huge change in your life. A scary change. But it's a commitment. It's a full-blown commitment. The strength, the Hierophant, the death. You got to be ready for this change. And you are ready. I, I just feel that that this is, it's, it's like you're climbing out of this hole, but you're climbing out of it so quick that you're not ready for the sun. But it's, it's coming out. There's a sun coming out between the two towers. You see that there. The same two towers. The Hierophant. This is going to be a change into a commitment. It's, it's like a death to your old self. Whatever, whatever this energy was, this it almost seems like an illusion of some sort. Something was really holding you back in the past, but it's, 
it's coming to an end. You know how to fight whatever this energy was off now. You're doing something to, to push it back. And strength, like, you'll be surprised how quickly this turns into a full-blown commitment. So curious about this change that you're going through. Let's clarify this death energy. For them, loyalty. For you, concretedness. Yeah. There's no going back from this. There's no going back to whatever it was, whatever karmic thing you had to go through. Like there's so much fifth dimensional energy in this reading with these major arcana cards. Loyalty, commitment, strength. The sun is shining on this connection at this time. And this is someone you've been manifesting. This is someone that's going to be very nourishing for you. This is someone that, like it's, it's like you, every time you turn around, you, every time you turn around, like you see them being more and more the type of person that you want to be with. And it's really coming to a climax here. Like, I feel that something is being shown to you that, that you, you won't be able to let go of because it, it solidifies your decision here that this is the person for you. I like this energy. In the extended, we'll look into what boundaries do you need to maintain with this love interest to stay true to yourself? That's an interesting question. I don't ever remember that question before. That's really odd. That's really odd. <laughs> and I just heard a high-pitched sound in my ear. That's really odd. We'll ask, what message does the love interest have for you? What's something that will surprise you about this love interest? And we'll ask, what are they planning for the future with you? That is an interesting question because it, it's, it's like they're not... They're not really planning it. I don't see them planning anything for the future with you until you, you make your decision to make, to show them love in some way, to, to show them, to express your true feelings towards them. But let's change that question to what will they be planning for the future with you once you do make your move? All right. The link for the extended is down below. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best with your choices. Much love.